the count is going to be one, two. We do this also off of two, three, and three, two. So one, two meaning jab cross. Two, three meaning cross hook. Three, two meaning hook cross. So today is all one, two. One, two, double rear leg is my first combo. So I'm going to start off doubling up to his leg. I'm doing the same target twice in a row. So I go one, two, right? Now let's say he, check, he checks that first one. It's kind of a context on this. So one, two, check that first one, boom, right? And that's get you on that second one. Go one, two, I'm gonna check your first one. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, put it back down, right? Now the other one, you catch them right when they're going that way back down to sweet spot. We're gonna go this way, right? So I see he's checking, boom, boom, right there. Seeing that kind of made him do a little happy kick, right? So he does one, two on me and he kicks the first leg, but I check and then he goes second leg, boom. Nice, okay? Now, think about this. We use this for a sweep a lot. It's great for southpaw. Right, so um, if I'm targeting here, I can go like that, right? Go ahead and switch sides for me. So a lot of times we'll step with the hook and go to this one. So if it's on ortho on ortho, I just slide out after the two. So go one, two, slide out, kick, kick. Right, so a lot of times it'll get you there. And then I, the second kick is to that planted leg, like the other scenarios that we saw in a second ago. Okay, so give me a one, two and slide out, deflect, deflect, slide out. Here, boom, nice. See, that second one will be a sweep. All right, that'll put them down. So that's just looking at the leg kicks, okay? A lot of times we get one dimensional, we're like, oh, we'll just, yeah, double kick, good idea. Twice there. Cool, I like that. But for me, the final frontier is he's combining these other low kicks, okay? Now let's look at a low mid, right? This is gonna still be doing double relay. So I go, one, two, kick, kick. All right, you go, one, two, low body nice so just here boom right now let's just climb up the up the leg like a uh, from the leg to the body and we'll go one two body hip right go here one two body go head one two body head go again one two body head right so simple little idea there now let's go one two head body Right, so just different patterns, guys. We're not gonna cover every single pattern today, but I'm trying to highlight several because again, it's try not like when I teach in class, hey, don't hit the same target twice in a row tonight. That's what we did last week, okay? So um, one, two, head, body. You go ahead, Howard. One, two, head, body, yeah. See, I'm all, my energy's here, okay, it's over, and then you kick me again, right? And I didn't really have time to get my arms on. I was like, oh, get up here with the energy that's down. Right now, let's go. One, two, body, leg. Right? One, two, body, leg. Nice. One, two, body, leg. One, two, body, leg. Nice. Okay? So see, guys, put some merit into this idea of hitting the same target twice in a row. I love it. It actually works more than you think. We do it a lot of times with we'll go cross to the body and we'll go again. Right? It, it, it's, it's brilliant. Right? The double rear tie kick, I remember the first seminar I went to where a guy was like, Hey, here's how you apply it. I've been doing it for years on the bag, on the tie pads, warm up, but no one ever was like, here's how it works in sport, right? So take these target drills, these recognition drills, and one, two, double rear tie kick. Simple and easy. Tell you what, Howie, let's do just kind of some freestyle, no talking. You'll do one, two, double kick. I'll do one, two, double kick. It could be the same spot. It could be at a different spot. We'll go back and forth three times, all right? Go ahead. One, two, oosh, oosh. Nice, good. My turn. Oosh, 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 oosh. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Right? Yeah, see, like, yeah, and it gets you thinking outside of the box. Right? So, like, the box I was in for a long time was I learned the double three tight kick to the leg. I was like, yes! Everybody knows the low high concept, but guys, look where we kick. We kick here, 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 here. Okay, so A, get more than that one dimensional with the leg, right? And B, do different patterns. We'll just do low, low mid or you know mid high. Do low high. Do high low. Do high mid, etc. Right. So just take those patterns, write them out, work on them. Do it with the jab cross, the cross hook in the hook cross. All right, we'll be back alternating kicks 
we're going to two punch, two kick drills. All right, I'm going to be doing one, two in the next series, but different kicks, different targets. Thanks, guys. I'm doing a one, two rear tie kick and a, a lead leg, like a switch kick. Right? We talked about some of the targets in our first video. Just gonna kind of overview some of them, right? When we are kicking with the lead leg here, right? Our first video, we kick double rear leg. So now it's two kicks, but it's a rear leg and a lead leg. That's the pattern, okay? In the next drill uh, video, we'll do two lead legs, right? So I'm gonna go one, two, every time it could be two, three, or three, two, cross hook or hook cross, but Let's just go over some different targeting drills, okay? So I'm gonna go one, two, and I'm gonna target the leg both times, right? Don't be one dimensional with your targeting of the leg. I'm gonna kick here with my rear leg, and I'm gonna target the sweep with my lead leg. So I go one, two, roll that over here, right? Now you go the same thing, Howie. One, two, rear tie kick, and then sweep. Nice. See, it kind of makes me go forward. So. That is a beautiful sweep. How he's landed that in fights multiple times in the same fight. It's very effective. We work on it a lot, and it's a core staple of sweeping in Muay Thai, right? So that's a really good one. Now let's go just kind of climb up the leg here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here, here, right? So this is going to kind of turn your leg in, and then I'm going to step out in there, right? And just that base disruption, right? So like sometimes when you were getting your guy in your fight, he was really off bounds, Whoa, but he didn't fall down. Sometimes they fall down. So like that double the kick up or double come with another strike right after the base disrupt. Base disruptions are great. And this one gets it right off the bat here. Boom, boom, right there. Okay, broke his base down. You go that, one, two, outside, inside. We're kicking right above the knee each time. Okay, now let's just start climbing up the body, right? We're gonna go outside to the leg. I'm going to go lead leg to the body, okay? So I'm going to one, two, here, here. Look how I'm getting a little angle on my switch step, right? So in case he throws a punch, just like that. Okay, so you do the same thing, Howie. One, two, the leg, and then to the body. Oh, nice. So we'll go one, two, body, head. Go one, two, body, head. Here you go. One, two, body, head. Nice. Okay. So, guys, it's... Different patterns, we can definitely do that, but this is kind of a basic overview. Go look back at our first video and say, oh, okay, we covered some different patterns there. And this is just a drill. We'll do it the same way we did at the end of the last one. We don't wanna always throw the same kicks to the same spot. That's predictability, right? So what I wanna do is show some different targets in there, unorthodox, different patterns. Like it's almost stereotypical the way sometimes people throw the same kick over and over. If they do double kicks, it's here and here only. We're gonna mix it up every time. Doesn't mean we can't kick to the same spot, like a leg and a leg, we can't. Or a body and a body, we can't. Let's go one, two, rear tie, then switch kick. We'll just alternate back and forth. You go. Nice, very good. Oh, nice, little zone out there, good, yeah. This is part three. I'm gonna go with a one, two, right? And I'm doing a double switch or a double lead leg kick. So I'm gonna try and go to a different target each time, right? How he's gonna go to a different target each time. He could do the same target as me. We could just copy off each other. It doesn't matter. What matters is that we're mixing it up, right? So I'm, you know, going one, two, body, leg on that one, right? So we talked about in another video how we might think about climbing the, the targets upward. We might go upward and downward. A lot of times we get one dimensional. We're like, oh, I'll just do low, uh, you know, like a low high, maybe a body head or a leg body or something. And it's like, well, what about the opposite? Let's do high low, right? Let's do uh, that concept of low high on the leg, right? So I could do like a one, two, low high, double disrupt his base. Maybe I didn't get that sweep on the first one. I disrupt with that second one, okay? So we're just gonna go back and forth and combine the patterns in that way. He'll go, I'll go, etc. cetera, one, two, Double lead leg kick, go. Nice. Nice. Very good. We're 
we're gonna go one, two, lead leg, rear leg, all right? So I go one, two, I'm trying to get different targets each time, all right? Go ahead, Howie. One, two, lead leg, rear leg, nice. One, two, lead leg, rear leg. Nice, very good. That's see, and you expect that, right? And every time we've done this, we felt four sets of these. Both of us like, oh, that was a cool one. Like, oh man, no. even how here he's doing cool patterns that I don't expect because I know he's doing one, two, lead, rear. But in class, if we're doing, hey, let's do it to the leg and then the leg on the outside and inside bones, or whatever our pattern is, we get in a set pattern. The idea is to break out of that pattern, right? Do one, two, double kicks. Oh, you got all these different kicks that breaks the pattern up but then what's your target is it the leg is it the body is it the head right well tie boxing we can look at all that we can divide the leg into segments so just some things to think about targeting for your one two double kick thanks guys